are, we're in the glacial forefield. Um, Anna and I are through placing about half of our targets, um, and I'm already exhausted. Um, I'll show you the rocks are very steep, um, so we're getting quite the workout after our crazy hike yesterday. So today's four field is actually um, metamorphic rocks, is the bedrock type, unlike the um, sedimentary limestone that we've been on for the past couple field days. Two more targets and then we can get the drone going. of our quadrant for um, the survey in the Lang Glacier. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you behind us we've got the glacier. Okay so the glacier is behind me up on the up in the valley and then as you go down there's this really interesting feature that on the side of this valley you can see Jake down there flying the drone but on the side of the valley if you see those little parts of the white that peek out so that part over there, um, the white on the cliffs, that is actually buried glacier ice. So that was once part of the healthy part of the glacier, um, but it has since been buried with um, sediment. So it's actually kind of captured the ice in place um, and it's not an active part of the main glacier anymore. It's considered stagnant ice so it doesn't flow like the normal part of the glacier does. Um, it might move a little bit um, under its own weight, but not much. Because it has all of that sediment and soil on top of it, it's actually acting to insulate the ice that's underneath it. So that part of the glacier is actually melting a lot slower than the part that we see up there. For more information, visit floortrek.com.